Defense Forces Francis Ogola, Inspector General of Police Hilary Mutiambai, and Solicitor General Kennedy Ogeto, Chebukati claims the delegation's arrival was preceded by a call he received from the head of public service Joseph Kinywa, informing him that top government officials were at Bombers of Kenya to discuss with him issues relating to assumption of office. According to Chebukati, the national security team cautioned him against declaring Ruto as president-elect to avert chaos in the country. The delegation's second message, according to Chebukati, was that if he could not announce Odinga as the presidential election winner, then he should state that no presidential candidate met the constitutional threshold of garnering more than half of the total votes cast and order a repeat state house race. A proposal Chebukati says was supported by his deputy Juliana Cherera and commissioners Justice Nyangaya, Irene Masit and Francis Wanderi, who have accused him of isolating them in commission decisions. Commissioners Professor Abdi Yakub Gulie and Boya Molu and IBC CEO Marjan Hussein Marjan, who are in Chebukati's corner, according to the commission's chairman's affidavit, rejected the security committee's proposal. The runoff proposal, according to Chebukati, was seen as a win-win situation by the four commissioners, with Cherera suggesting manipulation of Ruto's votes by moving 233,211 votes from his tally to adjust upwards the number of rejected votes, a move he claims he rejected and was supported by Molu, Gulie and Marjan. The National Security Advisory Committee's proposal, according to Chebukati, were preceded by similar overtures by a team that had visited him at 3 a.m. on the same day, comprising Azimio La Umoja One Kenya Coalition Party Executive Director Rafael Tuju, former Attorney General Emos Wako, and lawyer Chalom Bobu. Tuju and Wako, according to Chebukati, proposed that he moderates the presidential election results in Odinga's favor to avoid plunging the country into chaos. In the alternative, Tuju proposed that Chebukati and his team force a runoff, a move that would be adequately rewarded. He claims Cherera, Marsit, Wanderi and Nyangaya supported the Wako Tuju proposal, while his team of Molu, Gulia and Marjan rejected it.